Santa's one and only Burlesque Theater present... Mama! Miss Gypsy Rose Lee! <laughs> Santa Claus is sitting here, Mr. Goldstone. I love you. Like it. If you want a buffet, stop it with a trumpet. Get yourself a gimmick and you too can be a star. Gypsy. One of the best musicals that Howell High School has put on so far. Director Steven Kazakoff was calling the shots and everything went smoothly. But what is a Howell High School show without a few setbacks? For the week before the show was supposed to go up. And um, we uh, were in here every single day. Me, Gab Miterman, Jeff Lund, and just uh, random actors and dancers that came by. And we had to finish painting all the sets. The sets were nowhere near ready to go. One day, um, I was working on painting this large white wall, uh, so I had the roller with, with the white paint, and then I had my, uh, the bin and the roller, and I was, I was just rolling it, getting ready to paint, and I'm trying to get the whole thing covered, and I push as far as it can go, and the, uh, the edge of the bin completely gives out, and white paint just spills all over it, something at least this big. Snow days on nights of the show, and set pieces needing to be repainted. As Murphy's Law states, anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. But with the great crew we had, we made it through. I was the director. Um, I guess that means I have to make um, most, if not all, of the artistic decisions. For My name is Matt LeBron, and for Gypsy, I was um, stage manager. My name is Brandon Winters. Because of your friend Matt LeBron there, I don't really have a job. I mostly do a little bit of everything. I am Jake Cohen, and I am assistant light board operator. My name is Jesse again. For this show, I did sound design. And not only did I do sound design, but I am also crew foreman, or crew captain. I play Electra. She is a stripper in the show. It's a very fun part. Some good things that came out of uh, working stage manager was a, seeing the end result of all your work over uh, the past more than a month and a half put into it and seeing it all come together when a lot of people said that there was no way that it could come together and that the show was too difficult to do. I uh, made a lot of new friends, decided I hated Matt. Possibly building the show and watching Mike's reaction when the rose sign came down. We have a tremendous amount of very, very talented people on stage and off stage. We have a lot of great creative minds backstage, uh, in the booth, everywhere, and they're all starting to work together and move their energies in one direction. Uh, getting to work with people that I've never worked with before and, you know, getting to work really closely to um, my stage manager and, and my directors and getting to try and know all the assistant directors and stuff like that and and getting to work with JK audio man Jack uh, he's he's a nice guy and learning a lot from him and just a lot about things I didn't know like voltages and just stuff that you wouldn't think goes into anything like this definitely the first time working the lights in my costume um, I remember Mama Rev came in with it <clears throat> and everyone was so excited everyone was like crowding around me and Kevin Bianchi had the little remote control and so I did the whole number and they they were blinking they were doing everything which was awesome like I loved it um, from working gypsy that there's a time to have a whole bunch of fun and play and then there's a time to buckle down and do serious work See, I know not to listen to anything that Brandon Winter says I learned that Jess is very good at sound um, I <laughs> um I learned how to walk in five-inch heels. Um. 
a lot more about um, theater in general, just like terms and stuff like that. I, I learned a lot about other people, like I, I not on like a personal level. I learned how people work, and I learned what it takes to actually make people crack under pressure. And some people just won't crack. I learned a lot about all of the characters because when you direct a show, you learn every character's individual story and what you should and should be sympathetic about, uh, why you should be sympathetic for them in wherever they are. You're always opening your mind more and more because as a director, as I said, you look at the overall story, but you have to understand it's a, it's a collage of different stories that come together. And by understanding each of those people, why they do things, whether those things might be considered right or wrong or good or bad or whatever they are, you tend to expand your consciousness and, and gain a little bit more understanding of humanity all over. Uh, when I covered for Joe, me and or Jeff and I were doing Spotlight and it was one of the rehearsals where Kyle was working Curtain 2 and basically Every time he had to close the curtain, he opened it, and every time he had to open the curtain, he closed it. And it was pretty funny because everybody on headset was just like, Kyle, you suck. Mm -hmm. And I was glad that I could be a part of that. I like seeing people get yelled at for stupid stuff. And I like going, wow, that's really stupid. What were they doing that they could not be doing the right thing? And I like seeing people with no common sense because that amuses me because you're born with it. It's common. Well, certainly watching Mrs. Twomley react to some of your curtain work has been uproariously funny from that. my point of view. I, I don't know down. if you found it particularly <laughs> funny. Um, I got it down, though. No, I know you did. You're doing fine. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no. I mean, there's always funny stories about shows, but... Well, the yelling's always funny. Well, yeah, but uh, we, we all yell, um, you know. Mm -hmm. so, um, I, I think that uh, perhaps Matthew is going to... Um, he's thinking about dressing up uh, like Adolf Hitler, <laughs> so that as he runs the show backstage, you know, uh, we're going to get him a little mustache, and he's going uh, <laughs> to... He's over there going like this, so that's what I, I'm assuming that's what it means, is he's got the Hitler mustache, and he's getting the rest of it. They had a faculty meeting, so we were sitting in the dance room, and Matt LeBron decided to be cool and pick a fight with Mallory Jasmine. So Mallory decided to attack him forcefully, punching and kicking him, threw him to the ground, jumped on him, and repeatedly punched him in the face. That was probably the greatest moment of my life. This show was a setup for success. Working this show was a great experience for many of us. All in all, the memories we had will last a lifetime. This show has taught us a lot. If I can speak for all of us, I'd say that we wouldn't trade it for the world.